First, let's begin with the economic outlook. We have a health and an economic crisis. To be genuinely positive about the economic outlook, we need to overcome the health crisis. The health crisis appears to be past the worst. Lockdown has helped in many countries to bring the virus under control, but this has been at the expense of a deep global recession. Now, unlocking is taking place and economies are bouncing back. Yet, we are still without a vaccine. And in this vaccine gap phase, there is still considerable uncertainty. Markets and many businesses still fear a second wave. That risk needs to be taken seriously, but at the same time kept in context. Moreover, many businesses, particularly for instance in the hospitality sector, will need to change their business models until a vaccine is found. So the health element is vitally important in understanding the economic outlook. But what is that economic outlook? Now, twice in the last few years, financial markets and economists have been caught out by the global economy. In 2016, economists and markets were far too pessimistic. The world economy was far stronger than they anticipated, and that continued until 2018. Then at the other extreme then, markets became far too optimistic and the global economy started to slow. So much so that by last autumn, people were wrongly anticipating a recession. We entered this year, though, with the world economy on an even keel. But the important lesson from those last few years is that there are underlying dynamics which are taking many experts by surprise. It also highlights that even in good times, economic forecasts have a wide margin of error. That's even more so now in the midst of a pandemic. 